Greetings families, welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If this is your first time, my name is Mamri and you are very welcome. My new subscribers, my returning one, my family, you are all welcome. Thank you. I'm so grateful for you clicking on this video. This video is about Burkina Faso. Once again, there is a lot of development projects going on. So I want to share feel with you this morning i hope you are well do thank you let's watch this video and i'll be back things visit retained the donna site and you'll also recall that the company had been given deadlines to ensure that a certain amount of land would be available for this season to enable growers to carry out their various development projects so we came to take stock of the situation and it's really quite edifying we found that 144 hectares and are available to producers who are already 100% developed. We also noted that the hydraulic infrastructures that had been requested to enable the minimum of total development have been completed. A guard ditch has been built, and almost 22.5 kilometers of river recalibration has been completed. We also have 22 kilometers of embankment, and the embankment is almost 50% complete, i.e. around 10, 10, 10 kilometers, so it's really a source of satisfaction because and everything the authorities asked for has been spread out, and the growers are currently working on the site to ensure yields commensurate with the investments made. Once again, we're calling on all those involved, producers. Thank you for listening to that video. If you are new here, you might not understand our project. I've shared a video about it, and I will link it under the comment section. So if you haven't seen it, you can watch it. When our president, Ibrahim Trari, came. He promised that agriculture sector is going to work hard on that. So we saw a lot of tractors, a lot of tricycles, motorbikes, a lot that he brought to the country to share for those who are willing to work. And this irrigation project is thousands of kilometers that he has allocated. And with that comes with water irrigation, dams everything that can help them do this farming successfully they have animal setter also there then they have crop farming as well it has been divided so they went to inspect it to see what is going on i said i will share the update with you this is what is going on they have started working on 144 meters already and they are waiting for new people that want to work there they should come and also get their land they have previously divided some 35 acres each to some of the people regular members i don't know but maybe those who are ready to farm at that time it might be some of them that have already developed this that we have seen right now so the animal side as well they are calling them also to come let's listen to him and i'll be back thank you so much for your time on the site to ensure yields commensurate with the investments made once again we're calling on all those involved producers and supervisors alike to do their utmost and raise awareness so that the work can exceed expectations these are some of the structures of the ministry of agriculture animal resources and environment at the time I shared that video, they said they will finish within two months. I don't think that it's up to two months yet, and they have completed it. The Ministry of Agriculture, he is doing well. He is everywhere. You remember he went to a fish farm to encourage them and also help them. He's not one of our typical Africa agri offices that sit in the office and give orders and do not go and inspect what is going on. These guys are very serious. They mean business. And that's what he's doing. He travels from here and there, here all the time. He's working. Congratulations to them. And I wish the next video that we will see uh, will be rice farming and oh, uh, no rice farming, but it will be harvesting time. And we will see what they have earned out of this big project that will help a lot. 
Africa, we have learned we don't need to be importing food. If it is uh, rice that we like, we can produce it. If it is corn, we can produce it. Anything we want, if we put our mind into it, we can produce. I remember he said that the um, animal side, I keep calling it animal side, but there's a name for it. They will use their waste for fertilizer. And if you remember, I've made a video about the women who were making fertilizers from the animal waste. It's on this channel. You can check it out. It is creating a lot of jobs for the internal display women and they were happy. It's not only about job for them, it's about belonging and being close to each other. So they are working hard apart from the obstacles that are on the way or, you know, they are still working hard. Let's move on to another video. You remember the tricycles that we saw? that they've imported into the country a lot a lot of them thousands well they were not sitting doing nothing they are distributing them they are distributing them to the villages to the towns so it will be used for a good purpose please watch this video and i'll be back thank you so much for your time the development and i think this is a good opportunity to remind people together we can do a lot I'm certainly accompanied by the Bureau des Grands Travaux, and we're together today for a handover, a symbolic handover of a tricycle for various districts of the Lasso office. But we'll be going beyond Google Lasso to enable these districts to work with peace of mind, especially in the area of city sanitation. Because we have to make sure that what we experienced last year with the spread of the dengue virus or dengue fever does not happen again this year. The framework has just been reiterated by the Minister of Territorial Administration. This involves the delivery of 15 tricycles per arrondissement of Bovao, making a total of 105 tricycles that will be deployed primarily to address sanitation issues. We're delighted, because this will provide solutions to the logistical problems encountered by the arrondissements in carrying out their own sanitation and hygiene activities. And that's going to give them a lot more means to be effective. And I think that we, at the Central Town Hall, Yes, so they have started distributing the tricycles all the way. And um, I was thinking some countries, the ministers would take it to their families. They will sell some of them. As soon as they take pictures, it vanishes. You won't see them anymore. <laughs> but they are showing us what they are going to use it for. I also like that he said, together we can achieve a lot. And that is true. Unity is strength. So this will benefit a lot of people. Uh, I didn't realize that last year they have a virus break in the country. I think that's why they were working on the medication side, I mean the hospital side. The, the hospital lorries that they brought into the country to go to the villages to vaccinate um, the young ones, that makes sense now. So they are going to be cleaning the whole country if possible 105 uh, tricycles will be divided 15 each i think it's enough it is enough it will go a long way and not only that they have uh, motorbikes as well to reach areas that they have to convey uh, communication and the rest together we can succeed that's what he said and true they will succeed let's listen to more i'll be back Thank you so much for your time. And I think that we, at the Central Town Hall, had already started a dynamic and were delighted that this will further strengthen the capacity of the arrondissements, and in the days to come we'll be deploying more actions to clean up the gutters, removing and eliminating moral points and improvised dumping sites, and also addressing the issue of road silting. All these things will also help to resolve and we're really looking forward to it. We'd like to thank the Presidential Initiative for Community Development for taking a big thorn out of our side, and now it's time for action so that people can see the benefits in their daily environment and quality of life. The environment of their daily environment. The message to the boroughs is really to make good use of it, to deploy a lot of ingenuity in the use of these things and above all to respond to the needs that are enormous in the city of Bovao in terms of sanitation, in terms of cleaning the gutters, and much more action where people need to be supported. So I think it's very good. This is very good support for us to help improve living conditions.
Congratulations to President Ibrahim and his team for fulfilling what they promised their people. 105 tricycles is only for that community, that town. They imported thousands. So it will get to every corner of Burkina Faso and they will use it wisely to do the job that they are asked to do. I'm sure they are very honest people and they will do that as we can tell already. Let's move on to mining. They have given an announcement last night about a lot of changes that they want to do. They, this is just a quick announcement for the mining sector, what they are doing. Thank you so much for your time. Two decrees concerning the modification. Creation of the Société de Participation Minière du Burkina Faso and also a degree adopting the Articles of Association of the Company. The Sûreté de Participations Minières du Burkina Faso was created back in 2014, but has not been operationalized to take on the attributions and missions it was given. As part of the ongoing reforms aimed at implementing the vision of the head of state, it was deemed appropriate to move towards the operationalization of this structure. Operationalization will initially provide an instrument capable of carrying out the reforms currently underway in the mining sector. Who is going to carry all of Burkina's shareholdings when it comes to mining and quarrying? The company will also take care of all strategic intelligence. To maximize the benefits of mining operations, the second decree also aims to make the structure operational by setting up its supply and management bodies. Finally, on behalf of the ministry, the Council adopted a decree renewing the Tobarco large-scale industrial mine. The Council also agreed to relinquish part of the 488 square kilometers mine. Yes, work in progress. They are still working hard. They didn't mention the company that will take over the mining sector yet, but they have everything in place to start working. They said it will employ over 500 people and it will bring a lot of money into the country. I'll play that part for you at the end of this video. Thank you so much for your time. Just a quick update about the development going on in Burkina Faso that I want to share with you. Oh, it's not lost. They are working hard. They are working hard to put this together. Let's keep praying for them. Let's keep supporting them. Um, I'll come back with another video. Thank you. God bless you. The reforms currently underway in the mining sector. Who is going to carry all of Burkina's shareholdings when it comes to mining and quarrying? The company will also take care of all strategic intelligence. To maximize the benefits of mining operations, the second decree also aims to make the structure operational by setting up its supply and management bodies. Finally, on behalf of the ministry, the council adopted a decree renewing the Tobarco large-scale industrial mine. The council also agreed to relinquish part of the 488 square kilometers mine. Renewal will take place over an additional five-year period and will ultimately bring in some 71 billion euros for the state budget over the five-year period as well as consolidating employment for around 500 nationals.